Hey everybody, it's a 2010 427R Roush Mustang right here. Hey, I'm Brent from Brent Speed. Thank you for watching Brent Speed TV. Today we're gonna watch a couple dyno pulls. We're gonna show you what we did. It's the basic upgrades we do. If you have an 05 to 10 Roush Mustang with an M90 supercharger, or maybe you have a GT, you put the M90 on way back in the day. We're gonna talk about the upgrades. We're gonna look at the numbers. We call this our 490R supercharger package. Let's get started. Okay, before I rip this on the dyno, I want to show you the engine compartment I have dug with me. And there's a couple differences between a 2010 and an 05 to 09 if you have the M90 supercharger. So Doug, come down here. Remember, this is a 2010. So we have the M90 Roush supercharger. You might notice it's a rear coming in from the rear right here. So this car does have a BBK throttle body, and we installed the Roush air induction system. If you have an 05 to 09, your throttle body is going to be located over here, and you have the tube that runs around front. And then we install cold air intake at this angle. So slight difference between an 05 to 09 and a 2010, but still you can get the same results. So for 490R, what do you get? You get an air induction system on this particular car right here is what we did. We also installed hot rod cams. He wanted that low P idle. So we had some hot rods in stock. We installed those. Cold air spark plugs. Of course, we do a fuel pump upgrade and a 2.49 supercharger pulley, which is going to give about another 2.5 pounds of boost. 05 to 09, same thing. 2.49 supercharger pulley. Everything else I told you, a little bit different air induction system because your inlet is on this side of the engine compartment. We did pipes, long tube headers with a catted H pipe. So from the factory, this is, you know, car number 500, rated right around 430 flywheel horsepower, 400, 400 even flywheel torque. So my goal today with the hot rod cams, with the headers, with our upgrade, I want to beat those numbers at the rear wheels. So stick around, watch a couple of these dyno pulls. Let's talk about it. Hey, if you haven't, subscribe and notify. Let's go. All right, I love these numbers, so keep in mind, flywheel on this 2010, beautiful 427R, about 430, 435 flywheel horsepower, 400 torque. We're at rear wheel here on our dyno jet, rated SAE. Doug, if you don't mind, come over here. 454 real horse at 6,500 RPM. Torque came in at 410 at 4,400. And we do get peak torque very early, so we're gonna go wide open throttle. We're over 350. We're almost about 380 at 3,000. We're basically at about 400, 3,500, and it sticks in across the board. Makes for an absolutely fun ride. So, if you have a GT, you have an 05 to 10 with an M90 on it. Our 490R upgrade is a really good package, and of course you can add the cams, and you can add the headers, and it's a really easy way to make this kind of real horsepower off pump gas and have a lot more power. And then basically that's about the limit of the M90, okay? It's a very small supercharger. It sounds cool, I love the way it sounds, but next is when you, you know, would want like a TVS. So you want to go to a bigger supercharger if you're looking for power beyond that right there. So, hey, I'm Brent from Brent Speed. Hey, what's this cost to get installed? You can email quote at brentspeed.com. I am going to put links in the description of all these parts we talked about. Might have confused you a little bit. Maybe a few other things I like to see added to a car like this. But, hey, leave that comment. Happy to answer. Thanks for watching. Hey, one other thing I forgot to tell you. I think I like that video I'm going to put right here which is how much power, or should I say torque, is too much for the stock three-valve Mustang. So from the factory, 430, 435 flywheel horsepower, we've added 100 flywheel of this. That's how the drivetrain loss calculates, with simply adding headers, cams, and a little bit more boost. Now three octane fuel and a custom calibration. And I'll also put a link to a playlist where you can watch a bunch of other three-valve Mustang videos. They're running superchargers. So if you like this, you're gonna love that. So once again, Thanks for watching.